Several years ago, I saw a fun animated movie with my kids. Uh, the movie was about a bull named Ferdinand. And in one part of the movie, Ferdinand was enjoying all the sights and sounds and smells of the town square. And as he was looking through things, he got a little spooked. And when he got spooked, he started to destroy some things and he had to quickly find a place to hide. And this is where the funny part comes in. Ferdinand found his way into this little shop that was full of dishes and plates and expensive glasses. And as the camera pans out, you see that he is literally a bull in a china shop. And it was so funny watching this huge bull try to navigate his way between all these dishes. It, you just know that it's only a matter of time until things come crashing down. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because when it comes to difficult people in your life, it can kind of feel like at times they are a bull in a china shop. Our natural reaction towards difficult people is to keep them away from anything of importance and especially keep them away from maybe the sensitive things or the things that you value in your heart. What I wanna show you today as we continue our talk about dealing with difficult people is that God does not want you to distance yourself from them. It's true, we need to have healthy boundaries, which we will talk about tomorrow. But for today, I wanna to show you some biblical wisdom about the best and healthiest way to address those who might be difficult in your life. The section I wanna look at is a section from Ephesians chapter four. And this section helps us to understand our posture towards those who might be difficult. And as we read this, our mindset is remembering what God has done for us. So here's what Ephesians chapter four says. It says, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Be completely humble, which means put the interests of others above your own. Be gentle, which means you do not expect an immediate change to their behavior, but rather you are patient with them using love rather than coercion to change who they are. Be completely respectful, be gentle, be patient. Patient means that we take the emphasis off of what we want right now and we let them go at their pace. When it comes to the way that we deal with difficult people, it's so easy to put distance between us and to try to keep our lives safe by keeping them out of it. But God, by his love for us, compels us to be gentle, to be kind, and to be patient with those who might need some extra kindness. Because what you and I know is that it wasn't the anger of God that changed our hearts. It was his kindness and his love. So what I want you to do today is as you think about the difficult people in your life, just answer yourself honestly this question. How have you been keeping them away? Or what have you been keeping them away from? The love that God showed you is a compelling reason to seek them out, to be patient and to be gentle, knowing that it was God's love that changed you. Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Uh, thanks so much for listening today. If you enjoy this podcast but want to go even deeper in your faith, I want to invite you to check out all the great content that we put out here at Time of Grace. Um, the easiest way for you to do that, and the way that I personally do that, is by signing up for the Time of Grace email. I might be biased, <laughs> but I think the Time of Grace team does a great job putting all into one email, a written devotion, a video devotion, a blog post, podcasting options. It's a way that I love to start my day. And if you want to go deeper with Jesus, it's a great way to start yours too. Just look for the link in the episode notes to sign up. And thanks for your support.